New Orleans demolished two buildings with high profile blight just a few blocks from each other. One was a burnout shell. The other had earned the dishonor of being part of the city's dirty dozen. Chris Joseph visited both sites today. I'm glad it's getting torn down. I think they should put up, build up a fourplex or something because they need more housing. To build the new, you have to tear down the old. On Monday, the city of New Orleans demolished two buildings, one on Henriette DeLille that burned this February, and another on North Claiborne, which had been given the dishonor of being named part of the city code enforcement's Dirty Dozen campaign. A lot of the people out here will go in the building and do all kinds of hideous things. The North Claiborne building had maintenance and neglect violations dating back years. Neighbors alleged vagrants, drugs, and death surrounded the building. The city says it finally had a legal pathway to tear it down. Let me tell you, we're serious about homeowners taking care of, and business owners taking care of their property. Putting up one or two boards does not cut it, especially when you've been identified as having 15, 20, 25 violations. So you either abate the property in full or we're going to continue to do everything that we can in our willpower to make sure that we get this property out of the community. The community may have known the building for its mural of the rapper Lil Wayne, but neighbors say it had a deeper history, including being a church. One man says he sat in his car for two hours to watch its end. Just wanted to see the process. I hadn't been in there in a long time, and like I said, it's been, it's, it's, it's bittersweet. It's, it's a childhood memory. This is... You know, my, my, my dad uh, was married here in this church. It's a lot of family things. Right. Like. It means a lot to you, I can tell. Yeah. Back on Henriette DeLille, there were signs the property needed to go. Neglect violations dated back to 2021, and neighbors say vagrants were regulars before the fire department says two knocked over a grill creating the blaze. The city gave the owner a week to tear down the building, but time was up Monday morning. These are homeowners' responsibilities, not the responsibility of the city, but the city will take the necessary steps that we can to protect citizens. Neighbors in both communities say they want housing or something positive for families to rise up out of the rubble. What's next falls on the property owners. Now, the owner of the Henriette DeLille building did not return a request for comment, while the North Claiborne owner wasn't immediately available.